हेलो एवरी वन आई एम सुरेंद्र जैन मास्टर टीचर इन वेदांतु एंड आई हैव ब्रॉड अ सीरीज ऑफ टॉपिक्स फॉर के वी पी वाई एस ए स्ट्रीम एंड वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद नंबर सिस्टम टॉपिक इन विच वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब टॉपिक इज डायफेंटाइन इक्वेशन डायफेंटाइन इक्वेशन इज एक्चुअली एन इक्वेशन इन्वॉल्विंग मोर देन वन वेरिएबल्स फॉर विच इंटीग्रल सोल्यूशन आर रिक्वायर्ड इट वॉज नेम्ड आफ्टर वन ग्रीक मैथमेटिशियन नोन एज डायफेंटस ऑफ एलेक्जेंड्रिया let us see what daffentine equation is let me tell you there is no theory required as such for this particular topic you will be able to understand this uh, this topic through few examples i have tried to you know plot as many type of questions as i could have and this will give you idea how such questions are done so let us start with this question in which we are asked integral solutions x comma y such that xy is equal to x plus y plus 3 okay so please see it looks like because x y both are independent variables and you are having only one equation so there may be infinite solution but that is not the scenario please see if we solve if we write x and y on the left hand side like this x y minus x minus y and then add one here then this equation can be rewritten like this then you will be having two factors of left hand side one is x minus 1 and other one is y minus 1 and this is equal to 4 now because x and y are integers hence x minus 1 and y minus 1 are also integers so their product equal to 4 will not be in infinitely many scenarios it will be in some limited scenarios only like x minus 1 can be taken as i think 1 or minus 1 or 2 or minus 2 or 4 Or minus four, okay. And corresponding to this, and corresponding to this, your y minus one will be equal to four minus four, two minus two, uh, one and minus one. Now you can solve it for x and y. I think answer comes out to be x comma y will be equal to for first scenario it will be two comma five, okay. or for the second scenario it will be 0 comma minus 3 okay for the next scenario it will be 3 comma 3 for the next scenario it will be minus 1 comma minus 1 and similarly for the next scenario it is i think 5 comma 2 and then for next scenario it is minus 3 comma 0 so this is how you can conclude that these will be the only solution for this particular equation okay i will just like to tell you one more thing here that from this equation you could have seen this question like this also that x minus 1 is equal to 4 upon y minus 1 actually 4 upon y minus 1 that means x will be equal to 1 plus 4 upon y minus 1 okay so here if you want x to be integer and y minus 1 is also integer then you can see that y minus 1 will have some limited values only the same thing which i was doing in our first method also it will be 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 4 or minus 4 so putting them you can get the values of x from here also they both are exactly same things same thing only but just small difference of representation or presentation you can say so this is one question let us see few more questions after this So the next question is that find integral solutions x comma y such that x square plus y square is equal to x plus y plus two. Okay. Now through this question, I will like to tell you multiple approach for doing such questions. So my first approach is, please see. You can write this as x into x minus one. If you take x on the left hand side and take x common, similarly y into y minus one. and this will be equal to 2 so if you look at these expression you can see these two terms x into x minus 1 and y into y minus 1 both are actually product of two consecutive integers okay now if i list down the product of two consecutive integers right from 0 1 2 and so on you can see these product are 0 into 1 is 0 1 into 2 is 2 Two into three is six. Three into four is twelve. Four into five is twenty, and so on and so on. If you look at negative side also, like if you multiply uh, 
one zero with minus one it will be zero if you multiply minus one with uh, minus one with minus two then also it will be two only okay so you can see the product of two consecutive integers can take only these values okay so i think it is it has become very easy because sum of two numbers two such number is two so you can see from this list only two possibilities are there that either x into x minus 1 will be 0 then y into y minus 1 will become equal to 2 or if x into x minus 1 will be equal to 2 then y into y minus 1 will be equal to 0 there is no other possibility exist for uh, this particular question so if i write for first case or let me write solution for this one then your x will be either 0 or x will be equal to 1 in this case if you solve the quadratic or direct all directly also you can conclude that y will be equal to either 2 or it will be equal to minus 1 you can check 2 into 1 is 2 and minus 1 into minus 2 is also 2 okay so for this case your solutions will be 0 comma 2 0 comma minus 1 also you can see when x is equal to 0 this y into y minus 1 will be equal to 2 so both values of y will be considered for x is equal to 0 similarly when x is equal to 1 y can be 2 when x is equal to 1 y can be equal to minus 1 also so four solution for this particular scenario and when we are taking x into x minus 1 as 2 then x y will just get interchange so other four solution will be 2 comma 0 minus 1 comma 0 and 2 comma 1 and minus 1 comma 1 it can be verified by putting all these values in this given equation so this is one approach now let me tell you one more approach for this particular question if i take x if i take x on the left hand side i can write like this and if i add 1 by 4 here and similarly i write y square minus y and add 1 by 4 here I hope you understand why I am adding 1 by 4 here. So on the right hand side it will be 2 plus 1 by 2. Okay. Now these three terms has actually become perfect square of x minus half. And similarly this other one is perfect square of y minus half. And this is equal to 4 plus 1 5 by 2. Let us multiply both sides by 4. So this becomes 2x minus 1 whole square plus 2y minus 1 whole square and on the right hand side it will be 10. Now I think it is again has become very easy question because 2x minus 1 will be integer rather odd integer and similarly 2 minus 1 will be odd integer. So their square sum if it is 10 then definitely this has to be 1, this has to be 9 or this has to be 9, this has to be 1. Okay, now you can see this 2x minus 1 will be equal to either plus 1 or minus 1 in first scenario, case 1 you can say. And similarly for case 2, if you do this 2x minus uh, 1 will be equal to plus or minus 3. And this 2y minus 1 will be equal to plus or minus 3 and here it will be plus or minus 1. So you can solve and you can check, you will get exactly same solution for uh, exactly same solution with this method also. So this is my method 2 and this was my method 1. Okay, I would like to tell you one more solution though it is not that good method I will say but still it can be applied in some other questions. So I would like to tell you this method number 3. Please see what this is. I can write this as x square minus x plus y square minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now this has become a quadratic in x. So if we are looking for real values of x, its discriminant which is b square which is 1 here because minus 1 square 1 minus 4 into y square minus 4 minus y actually and minus 2 that has to be greater than or equal to 0. So if you solve it you will be getting uh, you will be getting I think 4y square minus 4y and it will be minus 9 less than or equal to 0. Now by finding which integral values of y are satisfying this inequation because it will not be infinitely many because it's a upward parabola and we are looking for less than 0. 
so there will be very few values of y that will be satisfying it you can verify the values which will be satisfying this and they are integer also are not many they are just please check i think 2 uh, it will be minus 1 it will be 0 and it will be 1 you can check i think 1 is satisfying uh, 2 is also satisfying please check 2 into 2 4 into 4 16 minus 8 8 8 minus 9 minus 1 yeah and more than 2 no integer will be satisfying it similarly minus 1 0 1 will also be satisfying it so you are having limited values of y now putting these values of y you can find out which integral values of x we are obtaining uh, after putting these values of y so this can also be another way of doing such questions so i hope you have understood this question there are three methods which i have discussed all the methods has all the methods has got their own relevance so maybe method one can be used somewhere else also method two can be used somewhere else also method three can also be used somewhere else also so you should you should remember all such ideas in your mind while you are solving such questions okay now coming to the next question this question says find number of triples p comma q comma r of prime numbers such that pq is equal to r plus one and two times p square plus q square is equal to r square plus one you can see here they have given three prime numbers and they have given two equations again two equations are not sufficient enough to give you three unknowns uniquely so you may get infinite solutions let us see whether there will be infinite solutions or there will be some limited number of solutions because they are asking for prime numbers so we have additional condition also so everybody please see here as we know all the prime numbers are starting from 2 then 3 then 5 then 7 and so on and so on so we have all the prime numbers odd except 2 okay so if i think that if i assume that there is no uh, this 2 is not the part of solution that means all prime number here will be odd okay then our first equation you can check which is pq is equal to r plus 1 and if pq are all three are odd number it is just not possible because it will be odd and this will be even i am saying if all pq are are odd okay that means at least one of them has to be even number okay so at least one of them so at least one of them has to be has to be 2 because among even number only 2 is the 2 is the prime number okay so i think we can take first let me take r as 2 which is on the right hand side then if r is 2 then this p into q will be equal to 3 2 plus 1 3 then you can see p has to be 1 q has to be 3 but 1 is not a prime number so i think this scenario is also ruled out this scenario is ruled out actually here along with that such scenario when p q are all three were odd numbers now then what remains because we have already concluded all three cannot be all three cannot be odd prime numbers so i will now take p as 2 so if i take p as 2 then you can see this 2q will become equal to r plus 1 now if i take this p as 2 and i put in this second equation we will be getting 2 into 2 into 2 so 8 here plus 2q square is equal to let me write r as 2q minus 1 and then whole square plus 1 now it is just an equation in q i think it can be solved easily if i open this 2q square and simplify it it will become please check 2q square because it will be 4q square here and take 2q square there so it will be 2q square minus 4q and then i think it will be minus 6 is equal to 0 you can check it's very simple calculation 2q square minus 4q minus 6 okay dividing by 2 you get q square minus 2q minus 3 is equal to 0 so it gives you q minus 3 into q plus 1 as two factors equal to 0 so q will be 3 only because q cannot be minus 1 because minus 1 is not an 
is not a prime number. So Q will be 3 and putting Q equal to 3, you will get R is equal to 5. 3 into 2, 6 minus 1, 5. So, and already we took P as 2. So the complete triples of PQR will be 2 comma 3 comma 5. So that is one solution. Now, instead of P, you can easily see your Q can also be 2. So if Q could have been 2, I think calculation will be just that P and Q will get interchanged because here you will be having 2P is equal to R plus 1. So nothing has changed except for that P and Q are interchanged. So I can write this solution directly. So your next solution or other solution will be just interchange P and Q. So you get 3 comma 2 comma 5. So there are two triples, one triple is this and other triple is this which satisfies these two equations. I hope you understood this question. By the way, this question is I think from previous year RMO. I think way back in maybe 2010 or something like that. But this was a question asked in RMO and you can see it was not difficult at all. If you understand the, you know, parity, parity means how even and odd are created if they are multiplied or added. So from that you can rule out some of the possibilities and you get these two as the answer. Okay. Now, now coming to next question, question number four. I think number is not written so let me write it here. We are asked to find the number of ordered pairs of positive integers x comma y that satisfy the equation 1 upon x plus 1 upon y equal to 1 upon 2004. Now, it looks like variables are given in the reciprocal so maybe some other things is required but this question will also require similar thing what we have done so far. Let me tell you how but before that I would like to tell you one important thing that can be noticed from here that because 1 upon x plus 1 upon y both their sum is 1 upon 2004 so x and y both should be greater than 2004. Why I am saying so? If suppose x is less than 2004 and it is positive number then 1 upon y which is 1 upon 2004 minus 1 upon x and if x is less than 2004 you can see this 1 upon x will be a bigger quantity than 1 upon 2004. So this will become negative which is not possible because x and y both are positive integers. So if required this information we will be using at later step but I have just written it here. Let us see later on how we have to solve it. I will be taking LCM on the left hand side. So it will give you x plus y upon xy is equal to 1 upon 2004. Doing cross multiplication gives you 2004x plus y is equal to xy. Writing all the terms on one side and write xy minus 2004x minus 2004y and adding 2004 square also then we have to add 2004 on the other side also so that equation doesn't change. Now why we have, multi why we have added 2004 square here because then it will give you factors of and what will be the factors x minus 2004 one factor and y minus 2004 another factor and on the right hand side 2004 square. Now x and y both are greater than 2004, 2004 so these factors both will be positive positive. So basically what we have to do we have to check in how many ways we can write 2004 square as a product of two integers that's it. Okay, now to find that I think we should uh, do the prime factorization of 2004 square and it will be I think we can divide it by 4 first. So 4 into 501 and I think 501 is also divisible by 3. So it will be 4 into 3 into 167. Yeah, 167 whole square and this 167 is not divisible by 3. You can check by sum of integers sum of digits actually then not divisible by 5, 7, 11, 13 also and beyond 13 we need not to go because 13 square is 169 and this number is lesser than that. 
I hope you know this theory that for any number to check whether it is prime number or not, you just have to divide it by only those primes which are lesser than or equal to its under root or you can say integer part of its under root. So here we can confirm that it's a prime number 167 is a prime number. So prime factors are 2 power 4 into 3 power 2 and 167 power 2. Now one of them may be x minus 2004 let me write. It has to be of the form 2 power a, 3 power b and 167 power c where this a can be taken from any integer starting with 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4. You can choose not to give any factor of 2 to this x minus 2004 then a will become 0 or you can choose to give all powers of 2 to this x minus 2004 only giving not giving anything to y minus 2004. So you have 5 choices for a and similarly for b and I think C also we have three choices. You can see 0, 1 and 2. So how many factors we can make? So I think we will be having 5 into 3 because 5 ways to choose A independently and similarly B 3 independently independent way and C also 3 independent ways. So here we will be having 45 factors of X minus 2004. So let me just tell you one, one thing here that can be important that whatever x minus 2004 you choose, let us say you choose this to be 2 power 3 into 3 power 1 into 167 power 0. Then y minus 2004 will be chosen automatically. It will be 2 power 1 into 3 power 1 and 167 power 2. So we just have to check how many factors of this 2004 square are that will be the answer for this question. So answer for this question is 45. Okay. So you can see after this step it was similar to that question which was our question number one in this session. Okay. Now coming, now coming to next question, question number five. It says let n be a positive integer such that n square plus 19n plus 48 is a perfect square. Then find the value of n. This question is once again similar to what we have done before. Let me show you how. What we will do, we will assume that as it's a perfect square, then let us call this as 9 n square plus 19n plus 48 is equal to m square. Okay. Then using these two terms, we will try to make this as a perfect square and to do that I think we will have to add you see 19n plus 19 by 2 whole square. So this will become a perfect square and then I will be subtracting this 19 by 2 whole square from 48. So this minus 19 by 2 whole square and this is equal to m square. So this becomes a perfect square of n plus 19 by 2 and let me bring m also here so minus m square and then take everything on the other side so 19 square is 361 upon 4 minus 48 so this left hand side will be 361 minus 192 upon 4 which comes out to be 169 by 4 you can check yeah, 11 minus 2, 9, 5, 15 minus 9 is 6 and 1, 3, uh, 2 minus 1 is 1. So 169 by 4. So if you multiply both sides by 4, you get 2n plus 19 whole square minus 2m whole square. I'm writing this and is equal to this is 169. And because 169 is uh, has only 13 in its prime factorization. So and if we write the factors of this left hand side which is 2n plus 19 plus 2m or 2n plus 19 minus 2m and this is equal to 13 square. So here we will get this 2n plus 19 plus 2m to be equal to either 1 
then other factor which is 2n plus 19 minus 2m will be 169 or if it is 13 then it will be 13 if it is 169 then it will be 1 if it is minus 1 then it will be minus 169 if it is minus 13 then it will be minus 13 if it is minus 169 then it will be minus 1 now we just have to find n we don't have to find m okay so if i add these two equation on the left hand side we get 4n plus 38 and this will be equal to either 170 in first case or it will be 26 in other case or it will be 170 once again in another case or it will be minus 170 or minus 26 or it will be minus 170 once again so what you can see here 4n plus 38 is equal to all these possibilities and we want n to be positive integer then i think there is only one possibility you can check that will be if your 4n plus 38 is equal to 170 in all other scenarios n will become negative so 4n is equal to 170 minus 38 is 132 and this gives you n is equal to 33. So the value of this n here would be 33. That's it. Okay. Okay. So now coming to question number 6 which says find integral solutions m comma n such that 3 into 2 power m plus 1 is equal to n square. Now here please see this left hand side is of the form 3 into integer plus 1 3k plus 1 or 3m plus 1 we can say so this n cannot be multiple of 3 ok it cannot be multiple of 3 one more thing before I move further that whatever answer of n we are going to get negative of that will also be a solution automatically because on the right hand side we have n square do you do 2 square or do minus 2 square you get same number so whatever positive value of n we will be obtaining we will be getting negative of that also so let us first focus on positive values of n only okay let us first find let us find only positive values of n and negative values will be found automatically now why I am saying this, now what I will be doing, I will be making two cases because n already we have proved that it is not a multiple of 3. So it will be either 3k plus 1 or it will be 3k minus 1. And because I want positive integer only, so this k will be greater than or equal to 0 and here k will be greater than or equal to 1. Okay, now let us put this n into this given equation, we will get 3 into 2 power m plus 1 and this will be equal to 3k plus 1 whole square. Opening this will give you 9k square plus 6k plus 1. We can cancel this 1 from this and then dividing by 3 will give you uh, will give will give us 2 power m is equal to uh, 3k plus 2 into k. Yeah. Now right hand left hand side is a power of 2 only there is only one prime number in its factorization whereas on the right hand side we have two factors which means both these factors should be in terms of 2 only for example suppose your k is equal to 1 then other should be 2 or 4 but i think we are not getting that because 3k plus 2 will become 5 so it is not possible but if you take k is equal to 2 I think we are getting 3k plus 2 as 8. So in this case, this 2 power m will be 16 and m will be equal to 4. And for this case, when k is equal to 2, my value of n will be 7. So you can see we have got one solution for this equation that is n equal to 7, m is equal to 4. I am now focusing only on positive integral values of n. Now, my next doubt is or next question is that whether we have taken all possibilities or not. I think this way if we keep on doing k is equal to 4 then k is equal to 8 maybe it will go up to infinite but we will not be able to say anything that will be conclusive. Now to say that conclusively please listen carefully if I take k greater than 2 
I think it is very easy to say that this 3k plus 2 is going to be lesser than 4 times k. You can check because for this inequation the solution will be k uh, k greater than uh, k greater than 2. Yeah, k greater than 2 and we have made the case k greater than 2 only. So for k greater than 2, this 3k plus 2 is going to be less than 4k. So it is not possible that your smaller number is k and the bigger number becomes 4 times of that k. Why I am saying so? Then I am saying this because then only possibility remains is that 3k plus 2 becomes equal to 2 times k. Because we want bigger number to be either 2 times the smaller number or 4 times the smaller number. And we have already proved this smaller, this bigger number is lesser than 4 times the smaller number. So the only possibility remains will be that 3k plus 2 will be equal to 2. And you can see here we get k to be equal to uh, how much we are getting. I think k will be equal to minus 2. But I am looking for only positive solution. So let us discard this one. Okay, k is equal to 2. Yeah, we got only solution when this bigger number was 4 times the smaller number. It is not possible that bigger number becomes 2 times the smaller number. And let us check for they become equal also. I think that is also not possible. You can see if you make them equal, if you make them equal, the value of k will be equal to how much I think it will be minus 1. So this is also not possible. So in this possibility, I think n is equal to 7, m is equal to 4 is the only answer. Now similar to this, if we solve for the second scenario, in that case, you can see this will become 3 into 2 power m plus 1 is equal to 9k square minus 6k plus 1. This one will be cancelled and we will be getting 2 power m is equal to, I think this will be 3k minus 2 into k. Okay, now as you will increase k, I think 3k minus 2 will become bigger and k will be smaller. But they can be equal also. In fact, if I put k is equal to 1, it can be easily seen that 3k minus 2 is also 1. So I think in this case, we are getting a solution that m is equal to 0. And for k is equal to 1, the value of n will be equal to 2. So n is equal to 2, m is equal to 0 is a solution which can be verified from here also. Now, if I put k is equal to, if I put k is equal to 2, you can see 3k minus 2 will be equal to 4. So once again, we are getting a solution here. So in this case, m will become equal to 3 because 2 into 4, 8, 2 power 3. So m will be 3 and putting k is equal to 2 here, we get n is equal to uh, 3 into 2, 6 minus 1, 5. So n is equal to 5, m is equal to 3 is also a solution. Let me put them into a box. Okay, here we got this solution. Now, is there other possibility? As we have seen that as k increases, this number will be bigger than k. Now let me use this space here. I think we can very easily say that 3k minus 2 will be lesser than 4k for all k that are greater than 2. Okay, so the only possibility remain that is that 3k minus 2 will be either equal to 2k and in this case we get solution as k equal to 2 only which we have already found here for k is equal to 2 here. You can check or 3k minus 2 is equal to k which gives us k is equal to uh, I think 1 yeah and this also we have already taken care of so I think we have proved that there is no other possibility remain as far as n positive is concerned let me write the answer here let me write the answer here we are going to get n is equal to 7 let me write m first so 4 m value of m as 4 n as 7 or the other solution will be 0 comma 2 or uh, 3 comma 5. But as I was saying, if you put n as negative, then also we get a solution. So 4 comma minus 7, 0 comma minus 2 and 3 comma minus 5 are also the solution. So these are total 6 solutions you can check in this uh, given equation. You can check if m is 3, so 2 into 2 power 3 is 8, 8 into 3. 
ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस वन ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड एन फाइव और माइनस फाइव इज सेटिस्फाइंग इट फॉर एम इज इक्वल टू जीरो वी कैन चेक थ्री प्लस वन फोर एंड इट इज ऑल्सो फोर सिमिलरली फॉर एम इज इक्वल टू फोर सिक्सटीन इंटू थ्री सिक्सटीन इंटू थ्री इज हाउ मच फोर्टी एट फोर्टी एट प्लस वन फोर्टी नाइन या सो दीज सिक्स सिक्स ऑर्डर पेयर्स आर सेटिस्फाइंग फॉर सेटिस्फाइंग दिस पर्टिकुलर इक्वेशन ओके सो दिस कंप्लीट दिस सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन Now coming to question number seven, which says find number of triples a comma b comma c of integers such that a square is equal to b c plus one, b square is equal to c a plus one. I think we have seen one such question before, but there the triples of p q r in which p q r were primes. Here we are asked for integers. Now to do this question, please see. We can subtract these two equations and we get a square minus b square is equal to c common. It will be b minus a. If we make factors, we get a minus b into a plus b, and on the right hand side, it will be minus c into a minus b. We can take a minus b common. So here we will be getting a plus b plus c equal to zero. So we have two possibilities. So either a will be equal to b, or a plus b plus c will be equal to zero. Okay, so if a is equal to b, I think we can use any one of these equation. We will get a square is equal to if I put b is equal to a, so it is a c plus one. So you can see it has become very easy. Diophantine equation a into a minus c is equal to one. And if their product is one where a and a minus c both are integer, so there are only two possibilities. Either a will be plus one or a will be minus one. Calling this as equation number one, and if I put a as one or minus one, in both case a square will be one, so a c will become zero, and hence c will be equal to zero only. So and a is equal to b, so the triples here would be one comma one comma zero, or minus one comma minus one comma zero. So that is one solution. For these equations, it can be checked for other equation also. If you put b as one, a as one, c as zero, this is satisfying the other equation as well. Now, the other case, case two. Let me call this as case two here. So, in this case, let us eliminate c using this relation and using this first equation. We will get a square is equal to. b into minus a minus b plus one, and this gives us a square plus a b plus b square is equal to one. Now from this equation onwards, I have two three methods. I will tell you one by one. So one method is that if we multiply both sides by a minus b, if we multiply both sides by a minus b, assuming that a and b are not equal, otherwise they Has no meaning of you know multiplying them. If a is not equal to b, why I am doing this? Because then you get on the left hand side a cube minus b cube, and on the right hand side we get a minus b. Okay. Now please see, if a and b are any two integers, and if you do their cube, I hope you understand what I am trying to tell you. Their difference of cubes. and difference of the number cannot be same unless let me call this as equation number 2 this is equation number 3 difference of cubes and difference of the numbers can be same if please listen carefully and think about it if you take a and b as big integers like 2 3 4 5 6 7 i don't think their difference of cubes and difference of their number can be same but this can be same if one of them is zero you can check if a is zero b is not then you can get a is equal to zero and b is equal to plus 1 or minus 1 i think you will get this equation valid or you take b is equal to 0 then a is equal to plus minus 1 will make this equation valid okay or if you take a equal to uh, a equal to 1 b equal to minus 1 or 
a equal to minus one and b is equal to one. I think the cube of one remains one only. Cube of minus one remains minus one only. So in that case also both sides will give you same values. Other than that, if a or b, one of them is either two or three or bigger number, you cannot have these two sides to be equal. Okay. So what all solutions we have obtained? Let us see. Let us do one by one. For this first case where a is zero, b is plus minus one, we will get zero comma one comma minus one because a plus b plus c is zero in our case. Or it can be zero comma b if it is minus one, then c will be one. Okay. This is corresponding to this. Then coming to the next one, in which a is one, b is minus one, then c will be zero. Uh, yeah. Then a is uh, a is minus one. Let me write for this first. A is minus one, b is one, then c is equal to zero. And then uh, there remains this case also. Here we will be getting one comma zero comma minus one, or we will get minus one. Comma zero comma one, so you can see six cases from here, two cases from here. So number of triples would be eight. That is the final answer. Now, as I was telling you, let me not finish this question. As I was telling you, uh, there is another method for solving this a square plus a b plus b square is equal to one. Let us see what this what what this can be. Okay, so my equation was a square. My equation was a square plus a b plus b square is equal to one. So I think we can write this as a plus b by two whole square plus three b square by four is equal to one. Now because these two terms are separately positive positive and their sum is one and also b is integer so i think it is very easy to say that b can be or rather b square can be either 0 or 1 only b square cannot be higher values because this term itself will become greater than 1 then it will not be possible so b square will be 0 in that case and i will be using this equation after you know writing these values so if b square is equal to 0 so b will be 0 So we will get a square to be one. So in this case, the value of a will be either one or minus one. Okay. And uh, similarly, if we take b square is equal to one, that means b will be plus one or minus one. So if we use uh, this b square is equal to one here in that equation number two, b is equal to one, then we get a square plus a to be equal to zero. So we get a equal to either zero or minus one. Similarly, for b is equal to minus one, we get a square minus a to be equal to zero. So a will be either zero or plus one. So if I write all possible uh, ordered pairs here, so you can check here uh, a is one, b is zero, c will be minus one. A is minus one, b is zero, then c will be one. Okay, and here we will be getting a as zero, b as one, so c will be minus one. Because a plus b plus c is zero. Similarly, if a is minus one, b is one, c will be zero because sum will be zero. Similarly, a zero and b will be minus one, c will be one, and a is equal to one, and then b will be uh, b is minus one, so c will be zero. So we are getting six uh, solution here and two solution from our previous case when a equal to b, so total eight solution. Now I have one more method. To solve this thing, please listen how it can be done. That you can write a square plus a b plus b square by multiplying by two on both sides. Then you will be getting a plus b whole square plus a square plus b square. Then again, it is a sum of three perfect squares. Okay, and it is equal to two. That means one of them will be zero. Other two will be one one. Now making all the possibilities, making all the cases, taking one of them as zero, other two as one one. You can find all scenarios from this this method also. So this is how you can solve this question in three three different scenarios after this equation number two. So this completes the solution of this question number seven. Okay. Now it is the time of a teaser question. 
teaser question is actually that question which I will be leaving for you to solve and I will expect you to send the solution to one of the email ID I will be mentioning but before that let me tell you the screen you can see Vedantu Eklavya it is one very big and important thing in online domain for JE advanced preparation so if you are serious about JE preparation maybe this year next year or next to next year then you must know about this so if you do not know already about it just google it you will come to know here I am sharing with you a link of notice board where we are putting all the important information about new batches coming up or old batches and new things going on in these batches. You can click on this link in the description box or you can just uh, scan this QR code to know all these important informations. If you are J aspirant 2022 that is you are going to write this year then join telegram channel using this link on the screen or QR code this link is also there in the description box you will be part of that channel where we are sharing all the important information regarding joining of Eklavya 2022 similarly this is the channel for those students who will be writing J in 2023 and similarly for those students who are writing in 2024 we have also created a channel with the name V impact where we are putting solutions of important exams like JE advanced KVPY as of now for JE advanced we have uploaded solutions of 2018, 19, 20 and 21 for KVPY we have uh, uploaded 18, 19 and 20 and very soon you will be finding many more year papers of these exams and other exams as well. So do visit this YouTube channel. Now coming to teaser question which I was talking about for this month. So there are two questions. One is find integral solutions A comma B comma C such that 1 upon A plus 1 upon B plus 1 upon C is 1. And other is find integral solutions A comma B such that A square minus 2B square is equal to 1. So these two questions you have to solve and send your handwritten solution to this email ID eklavya support at the rate vedantu.com with, uh, with the subject line teaser solution and here it will be maths. If we like your solution we will be contact contacting you by sending you reply on your same email id and after discussion and after knowing you we will make you part of those batches which are going on in our, in our uh, topper pod. One very important thing, all these batches are almost free of cost. We are providing 99% of scholarship. So either you will be free of cost or you will not be at all. You cannot get admissions in these batches by paying any fees. If we find that you are having similar thought process, you have a very good, you know, uh, method of doing the things like maths, physics and chemistry and if we find worthy that you should be part of our batches, then we will make you free of cost. Free of cost means 99% scholarship, otherwise you cannot. So that is the purpose of, you know, giving you these teaser questions. Every month you will be getting these questions, you will get an opportunity to be, you know, to be contacted by us. So that is all for today's session. Thank you so much. Bye everyone.